Hello guys, welcome back to Majestic Notion. So this is your part two, two week zodiac forecast. And this is for October 8th through the 21st, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. All right, um, these are 15 minutes or less, and I believe there's like either 13 or 14 different decks okay so today hold on one second here sorry I'm in the middle of like <laughs> wasn't quite prepared I thought I was all right okay so today we're gonna focus on Libra Scorpio Sagittarius Capricorn Aquarius and Pisces so remember your hearts and of course for those of you who already know timestamps are below the video in the description box and obviously for those who are new to these these are like a two-week zodiac energy check-in they're general not personal so not every sign will be going through this specific scenario but you could resonate and you can look at any other placement in your chart uh, depending on your sign part one and part two are done so um, again I'm a reader that talks about everything and anything if love comes up well that's what we're talking about all right but more often than not there's other things that come up on top of love all right I talk about karmic soulmates sex passion romance twin flame karmic energies um, and random messages that maybe one or two of you need to hear or a group of you so just keep that in mind and don't get frustrated if it doesn't resonate look at another placement in your chart remember that there is more than one person watching and it will resonate for someone okay and don't shoot the messenger I'm only here to deliver the messages that spirit has for you at the end of the day and we're gonna see what's going on with you through the week the couple next two couple weeks of October energetically spiritually in your physical reality mind body soul heart however that plays out and remember that time is an illusion so it could play out later some of it could be past present or future or all three all right so let's remember that and we are going to begin with Libra so I will see you guys at the Libra pile bye bye all right Libra hello welcome back to majestic notion welcome to your two-week forecast for October 8th through the 21st Sun Moon rising Venus or Jupiter and of course Libra as you already know this is general not every Libra will be going through this scenario before us today and these are not personal readings so don't take it personal and if you're not resonating somebody else could okay since we have more than we have one more than one person watching keep that in mind please um, these are 15 minutes or less so we're gonna see what we got going on here the next couple weeks remember that time it's an illusion energy is fluid so this could be past present or future energies um, but mo more likely than not this is what's going on right now and into the next couple weeks or further all right and remember that tarot is not gender specific it's the energy so even if it's a male or female card it could be either one this is a reading for male or female if you're dealing with the female female situation apply it as it resonates male or male same thing male female same thing okay let's get into it please smash that like button Libra subscribe hit that notification bell for those of you who want to know when your readings pop up and let's get to it shall we oh we got a snake so snake your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path but be careful so we got a snake in the building we got a snake in the building Lira. okay we got cycles okay so I see you could have learned a major lesson here with a snake and it was a cycle in your life it was something you had to learn something from so you're not stuck in repetitive patterns that's what I'm seeing here remember these could be interchangeable vice versa flip it how it resonates because we don't know who's watching okay it could be the cross watcher so 37 could be significant here but that's adding up to 10 so I'm feeling you're closing out a cycle with a snake here and we have 25 adding up to 7 so I feel like this is spirit Garden of Venus rest and renewal so spirit is guiding you to rest 
to reflect and to think about the situation at hand all right and definitely I'm just I'm just hearing it's time to move on okay we have goddess we have caregiver five of cups the emperor we have the nine of cups so we're heading towards some sort of wish fulfillment here five of pentacles The Hanged Man, Strength, yeah, this person definitely mirrored something you had to heal, Five of Pentacles, Spell Work, oh no, someone has been casting spells, well, we'll get into that, Halloween, something significant about this Halloween, we have Envious, you just make it look easy, the heat is on. Undeniable attraction and chemistry here. Yeah, I see you're heading towards something new here. And yes, present moment. Okay, so this is happening now. And disguise. Someone's wearing a mask here. Or was wearing a mask. And Hangman, you're either still trying to discover this or that's what you have been discovering. Which would explain the Five of Cups. Self-love. Yeah. Definitely. This was a major lesson for somebody. You had to learn to heal something from your past with the Five of Cups, could be. Um, but you had to learn how to have more self-love here. Number 24 could be significant, adding up to 6. That's a lesson learned, going towards calmer waters. Beauty. So beauty with Goddess here tells me that there is someone caring here. Number 17, adding up to 8, that you could feel a deep connection with here. Yeah, you're definitely closing out some major cycle. 19, adding up to 10. And 22, duality. What you put out is what you get in or in return. Outdated thinking. Conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Yeah, there's something in your past. And with the hangman here, you need to see things from a higher perspective. Which I feel that's currently the transition you're in. Alright. Uh, you could have dealt with somebody that has outdated thinking with the snake. A snake is not going to see from a higher perspective. If they do, it's fake. Okay. Welcoming love and meeting the one. Open your heart. Getting together perfect. So there you go. Okay. I'm planning. Yeah, you're moving forward, definitely. Let's do it this way. And you are too good to be true. Now, this could be something somebody's wondering here. Either you or this person. All right, 15 minutes or less. So let's see here. I see somebody trying to heal from something. Now, you could be trying to heal other things, but you're definitely trying to heal from some sort of situation that you're cycling out of with some sort of snake, okay? This person has been doing spell work, so we're going to see what that's about. You could have been in a codependent connection, but again, emperor status is... is the lesson at hand here because I see the Emperor that tells me that you're doing inner work and this is where you need to be the Emperor with the official person to me that's the same thing for some of you yes you could have um, a father or some type of father figure that is sick at the moment that's for some of you okay somebody is ill in the family oh, that's for some of you that not for everybody and there's something about removing your mask and when you move forward as you heal and you have more self-love 
and you rest and analyze the situation at hand and gain your strength and confidence back, I see you planning on going towards someone and revealing some type of feelings here. Now, you could have been wearing a mask for a long time as you analyze someone you were around or with. The snake, there is a snake here. All right. I mean, this is a major lesson. And with outdated thinking, there was some sort of conditioning with outdated thinking in the hangman that needed to be um, broken so that you can see things from a higher perspective. You know, sometimes, like let's say, spell work. That's not something everybody believes in. But your beliefs are not facts at the end of the day, right? So what we have been taught to believe is not always the truth of the matter. But sometimes we become stubborn and rigid in our ways and don't want to see things for what they are. So, some, you know, in this situation, maybe somebody here did not want to see the snake for who they were. And it ended up ending in the Five of Cups. And it was a lesson learned. That's what I'm seeing here. So let's get into what's going on in Halloween and what this spell work is about. That's my curiosity right now. But there is, and we're going to get into, there's some, you have passion for somebody here with the heat is on and undeniable attraction and chemistry. But also you could have had that with the snake and that's why it was hard to let go. But we're going to get into that. But right now I want to get into the spell work card for you guys real quick. Yeah, we had the King of Cups at the bottom, so the King of Cups doesn't reveal their emotions. They kind of sip on them for a while, sit on it for a while, analyze the situation. Very stoic, unmoved, poker face, yes. But when they do reveal it, it's um, they're all in when they assess the situation and they feel it's safe, absolutely. Male or female. Okay. So tell me about the spell work. Three of Cups. There could have been other people involved here in the spell work. Um, I see three cups there with the moon behind them. I don't like that. This could have been taking place at a distance with the world at the bottom here. Maybe when you guys want to break. What else, Spirit? Yeah. I see a binding spell, Two of Cups. That's what I'm seeing there. Somebody could have put something in your drink for some of you. Yeah, the High Priestess, definitely. Somebody could have paid someone to do a binding spell on you. Okay. What else? Some sort of love spell. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Um, what did they do? I don't know if this is the person you were dealing with or if this is somebody here. Seven of Swords. There was definitely deception here. Maybe somebody was telling you somebody else was doing spell work. They were lying. Okay. Whatever that was. What is this lie? Yeah, Six of Swords. This is uh, learning a lesson here. And moving on from this. So you know somebody was lying if they said somebody else was doing spell work. Um, but I feel like they did the spell work and they were projecting what they were doing onto someone else. That's what I'm seeing here. Somebody tried to deceive you there. Huh. They tried to reflect away from their own... I mean, we got a snake here that you were dealing with. It was a cycle. So it's somebody next to you. Not away from you. Let me tell me about this Halloween. We have the strength, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. 
with the Wheel of Fortune. So things are not stagnant anymore. Things are moving forward starting Halloween. Okay? That is 10. Could be on October 8th. What, what is today? October 4th. October 4th, things will start moving forward here. What else, Spirit? About Halloween? Or something specific about that day? What's going on that day? Three of Swords. There could be something you're going to find out on Halloween that is hurtful and it's it's going to allow you to have the strength to move forward okay whatever this is yeah five of cups it's not going to feel good could be october 8th for some of you could be on halloween though all right it is the halloween month um there could have been a leo involved here doesn't have to be what else spirit Page of Swords, something you're going to see or read on social media. Or something or something you research yourself. You're finding some kind of truth or something. Five of Swords. Uh, it might make you jealous, uh, whatever this is. It might have you, it might create some sort of conflict here. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Ouch. This is not going to be good. So something, yeah, Four Swords. You're going to have to heal from this. Okay? So if you haven't really let go, because I see you still trying to analyze here, feeling stuck with the Strength card and the Hangman, something you're still trying to figure out here. Presently, you're going to find out on Halloween or on October 8th. It's going to create conflict and it will be the end of the connection. Somebody is lying here about some sort of Queen of Cups. Or if you confronted them about spell work, obviously they lied to you. They're not going to tell you they did spell work is what I see here. With the Seven of Swords, that's deception. Um, tell me about the heat is on with the disguise here. Let me try that again. That was the magician. Okay, hold on. You get that again. Because that is the cup that comes out from the divine with the magician. So you manifested some new love here. Let's see here. I have a feeling it's that goddess with the caregiver energy. Yeah, it is someone else. Someone you want to collaborate with. King of Pentacles here. Seven of Cups with the Three of Pentacles. And that person has their hand on a heart. So with the Four of Cups, that is a cup that comes out of the blue. Obviously after some stress you've been going through, there's been a cup there. Maybe you were unable to see it or you couldn't focus on it because you were dealing with a snake. Um, you may or may not be the King of Pentacles or have it in your chart, male or female. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's what I'm seeing. There's a new manifestation. You have not told this person how you feel because you're still wearing a mask here. And you haven't because you were dealing with something else. You do go through an inner battle. Is this too good to be true? But it is a manifestation. So... That's what I'm seeing there. So, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're holding back because of healing. And the person you're with, you already know them. And you know you have to walk away. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So the person you're after are, is single. Nine of Pentacles. Um, we do have the Five of Wands. So that's, again, that is your other option. It's also your inner conflict. And you're walking away, death card with the Eight of Cups. No emotional fulfillment, going through a transformation. Healing, you know the truth about this Knight of Swords energy. There, there was some harsh truth 
spoken. So somebody finally put their foot down and they're holding back because they're healing and going through an enlightenment process or awakening. But there's still faith here. You guys are star-crossed lovers, whoever you manifested there. Okay, anything else? Let's see, Libra. What else, what else? Right now, you're, you're just healing, taking care of yourself, okay? That's what I'm seeing. You're, you are moving on from somebody, you, and um, you're welcoming love and meeting the one. So you're meeting the one. So it's not too good to be true. It is the right person. So let's see what spirit has to say here. And things take time, right? To grow roots and to strengthen. So it says, wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Yes. And somebody is planning, but definitely they're going through it. So allow the healing process. Allow the snake to exit your life and allow yourself to see things to where you feel comfortable in making a move. Because you must see things clearly first. And obviously they have to make sense to you first before you can move forward. So there you go. I do want to get into that. That's bothering me. That spell work. Let's see here. I'm also seeing somebody could have like really tried to tell you that they love you, they love you. And with the seven of swords there, that was a lie. I don't know, man. The queen of cups with the seven of swords, that's emotional manipulation. So that's like the queen of cups in reverse. And we have a snake, so... That's just a confirmation. What's this spell work about? Wow. Financial attack. Someone is attacking you spiritually to negatively affect your finances. So if this is somebody maybe you perhaps spoiled, um, you know, they felt privileged somehow, some way. Um, you know, you could have dealt with a narcissist for all I know, but... Um, they're attacking your finances if they feel like you have more than them and they lack, which I see a codependent connection here with the Five of Pentacles. This person has no self-love, no self-worth, and they're low-vibed. Anything else here? So cleanse your energy. Definitely walk away from the snake. That's my best advice. That's all I can say. The rest is up to you. Again, you are this person. Take it how it resonates. Somebody was a snake here. Wow. There you go. <laughs> instant karma. They will receive instant karma for anything they try to do to you. Anything they try to do to you. So there you go. Backfiring like a mother. Competition, magic, someone feels they need to compete against you. That is their motivation for the things they do. So, you, you're, yeah, with a snake, they have a competitive mindset. Okay? It's like, if, if they even feel, I mean, we have envious, you just make it look easy, right? If they even feel that someone is trying to do better than them, that's how they see it. Oh, they're trying to do better than me, so I have to do better, or I have to, you know, win at all costs, basically. That's their mindset. Bad person to be with. All right, guys. That's what I have for you, Libra. Let me know in the comments if anybody resonates, and uh, I wish you the best here. There is someone that's good for you. Either they're taking care of someone, or there's somebody in your energy or whoever else is around you that could be taking care of somebody somebody's father uncle i don't know 
or maybe just somebody taking care of themselves but I see that as taking care of someone else so all right that's what I got I will be doing Scorpio next so if you have that in your chart or you're dealing with a Scorpio you're more than welcome to join me there and I will talk to you guys later bye bye all right Scorpio welcome back to majestic notion so welcome to your two-week forecast for October 8th through the 21st Sun Moon rising Venus or Jupiter and of course Scorpio as you already know these are general not personal so not every Scorpio will be going through this scenario today these are 15 minutes or less um, and tarot is not gender specific so that's why I say he or she this is a, these readings are for male or female okay you could be in a male and female connection female female connection or male male connection so take it how it resonates because we have more than one person watching a female could resonate with the situation or a male could resonate with the situation in hand um, and I always suggest like if you're on your life purpose or you're figuring out your life purpose always watch your north node your south node is more about maybe things more your 3d things you need to focus on heal stuff like that if you want to take a look at that okay so let's get let's get started Scorpio let's see what do we got what do we got Oh, and please smash that like button, guys. Hit that notification bell for those of you who would like to know when the readings pop up. And we're going to be focusing on the two-week energy. It could be past, present, or future. Most likely than not, it will be present to future energy. And maybe just a little bit from your past. It just all depends what comes out here. Because these are a surprise to me as they are to you. And uh, what else, what else, what else? Okay, I spaced out what I was going to say. So let's get into it marriage you are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love that is beautiful so you are magnetically drawing into you Scorpio someone that will love you unconditionally because you're ready for that kind of love and you're ready to give that kind of love so that tells me you've been doing a lot of self work yeah we have strength here number 35 could be significant adding up to 8 so there's a connection here, uh, a deep connection. Okay, we have the tree here, so something a, a strong bond that can grow roots, something solid. So we have the caterpillar, an opportunity. Number four, stability. Okay, so there could be an opportunity coming to you after a time of transformation. You could be dealing with a cancer, or you have that in your chart, or they do. We have the Knight of Swords. I just heard opposition. I don't know what that's about, so we'll get into it. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody could be cycling out of something, or you, Scorpio. Page of Wands, somebody immature, perhaps. Or there's a new spark here with someone. Someone you have chemistry with. With this unconditional love. We have the Nine of Swords. There is anxiety here overthinking can't sleep ten of Pentacles very nice that is somebody you can with the tree the unconditional love and the ten of Pentacles I definitely see a solid connection coming together someone you can actually build an empire with but there is some sort of anxiety over heading into this cycle but you see this person is walking into the light and they have a clock in their hand so with cycles here two of Pentacles what was it? Where did I see it? Why, why did I feel like I saw two of pentacles? That was weird. Oh, I am holding it. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> so yeah, some, somebody's cycling from maybe some shadow, ener shadow energy, something kind of heavy, very dark, into a lighter path, which is unconditional love here with you. So there's a lot of anxiety over this. Okay, it's at a page level, so it's like there's creativity here. Um, maybe a, a person that is very creative, but there's anxiety here. There could be a message coming in, but there's anxiety over sending this kind of message. It is quite flirty. All right, there's some chemistry here, and maybe that's what makes this person nervous. 
we have four again, four of wands. So four, very significant number here. And we have temperance. All right, somebody waiting to balance themselves out. There's passion and love here. Okay, this could be twin flame for some of you with the four of wands and the temperance card. Earth angel energy as well, spirit kind of guiding this connection also is what I'm feeling. Apology, someone wants to apologize and forgiveness. Uh, arrested, someone may be getting arrested. What I'm feeling here is there is a Knight of Swords here. Somebody's trying to bind someone. Keep them bound to them with the Two of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. It could be someone immature here. And this person is trying to leave this cycle behind. With the Knight of Swords, someone's quite aggressive here. So this person could have been in a relationship. So this is a connection that will take time and patience to come together because somebody's dealing with something else that they're trying to get away from. They could be going through a transformation. Yeah, there you go. Destiny's playing a big role here. Spirit influence, aren't you lucky? And there you go. Empath, empath connection with unconditional love. That's what's trying to walk into your life. Mutual respect and healing energies. Beautiful. But there is someone here trying to keep this person bound. They need to follow their intuition. This person could have Cancer Moon, or you do. Um, oh. Superstition here. I'm getting intuition with this as well. Gratitude. So somebody either has gratitude for the connection that's coming in, or they need to have gratitude for the connection at hand. I feel somebody is watching you here. But there is anxiety. Nervousness. Um, that could just be their energy. Some people are like that. They're hyperactive. Their mind is on overdrive all the time. So they don't get a lot of sleep. Restless energy. Yeah, this person could be wild, or you, take it out, resonates, or both of you. Number 15 could be significant, but this is adding up to 6. You know, maybe they want to break free for now and, and just kind of wait till this energy that somebody's been dealing with dissipates. This could be you dealing with some energy here, but I'm feeling like three people here. So I'm feeling like somebody's trying to keep someone from coming to you. Yeah, temptation. You are a temptation to this person. Number 19 adding up to 10. Look at that person right here. Spiritually, it could be telepath telepathy here. Astral travel. That's for some of you. Privileged lady. 12 adding up to 3. And marriage here. And again, we had marriage here with 10 of swords. So someone sees you as the one, uh, Scorpio, but they have a lot of anxiety over getting into a marriage, especially if they were dealing with someone that was that was a rough ride there, okay? Reminiscing keepsake, perception, learn from the past and make memories. Maybe this person has been married before. They don't want to make the same mistake. Um... Obviously, they can't judge you for what happened in their past. You're a whole new person. No one is you. Okay? You, you, you have your own, you know, traits that are specific to only you. So they can't judge you for whatever they went through in the past. And yeah, they need time. It takes time, in time, cycles, time to heal and progress. Yeah, this person definitely needs to maybe run free for a little bit. And you know get away from this person that that seems like they're trying to apologize to keep them bound because you two are empath empath connection so yeah this is so painful and I remember everything Yeah, whatever they're, whatever they're, I feel like it's them going through something, but it could resonate with you, Scorpio. Whatever is transpiring in their life that they're trying to cycle out of, this person hurts them. And they remember every little pain that they went through with this person. Because they are in the Knight of Swords. Somebody here is 
verbally could be verbally abusive but quick to you know they don't think before they speak if when they're angry they're angry and they just say it it's quite uh, cutting and um, they bruise this person quite a bit and it's like they say something they they you know they blow up and they could leave and then they come back apologizing because they're trying to keep this person bound so let's see here let's get into this I do want to get in what's this superstition card about maybe there's certain things that they were trying to believe in or someone was trying to tell them and they're like eh, that's just superstition I don't know let's see here I am seeing that as intuition as well but let's see maybe they didn't believe in this type of connection but clearly it's here all right so let's see tell me about superstition ace of cups ah so they're a little bit apprehensive about real love true love unconditional love and I'm getting spiritual love here oh that's just superstition twin flames yeah that doesn't exist <laughs> wait till they're face to face that's when you really know right and it could just be divine connection okay let's take the label of twin flame out of it they don't know till they're standing in front of you and experience the intensity right the important part is not the label it's the connection and it's here ace of cups that's what they're superstitious about exactly that's love at first sight that's nerve-wrecking when they're standing in front of you that's why they have so much anxiety so it's not all superstition they somewhat believe in it but when they're standing there shooketh nervous because they're gonna know their intuition was right the whole time so what I'm getting is this person because I'm getting intuition with this as well they were ignoring their intuition chucking it off to ah that's superstition that doesn't exist I'll never find a love like that yeah probably because they dealt with too many snakes let's see what else the world there you go love is here ace of cups with the world closing of a cycle with the tower divine intervention because destiny is playing a big role here spirit influence aren't you lucky they're gonna learn today they're gonna learn today once you see and feel true love it cannot be unseen so if they don't have the balls to come to you it's the kind of thing that they will always think about always wonder about it's not gonna go away till they face it alright so let's see what this apology with arrested is ah shit hold on a second page of cups that's the apology okay who is this why hierophant yeah somebody they were either married to or in a relationship with felt bound to ace of swords there's some truth here though that they know king of cups maybe they want to apologize to you Scorpio if you know this person but let's see what else is here four swords queen of cups yeah they want to heal a situation here with the four of cups and the queen of cups So, it's almost like because they were superstitious and they chuck it up to superstition, right? About this connection. 
whether you met them or not, I feel like it's understood between you on a spiritual level, on a love connection level, you know, whether you know this person felt the same, whether you're crushing on each other, but you knew they didn't have the strength to come to you because they were dealing with somebody else. It's like, damn, it's like they tell themselves, I'm so sorry for not seeing things for what they were. Maybe they felt like this was like something that was like you were trying to bind them in some way. But they ended up being bound by someone else here. It's from what I see here. And um, it, it's like not that type of connection. It's an impact, impact connection. It's understood here. So, yeah, we have the Eight of Pentacles with the Knight of Pe Cups and the Six of Wands. And, it, yeah, their ego could have maybe not let them see things for what they were. Five of Wands. Yeah. And maybe they thought you had um, other options as well. Five of Wands with the Empress here. Or they were just conflicted. I mean, obviously they were conflicted. But they felt the feelings. Okay. They felt the feelings. There could be distance here between you as well. As far as um, physically. They could live somewhere far from you. Um, but they know the truth. They know how they feel. And it's like, damn. How could I be so stupid and so blind? But this person is healing. And they do want to heal a situation between you guys. Alright. They do want to tell you how they feel. It just makes them nervous as F. I do want to see what's this Two of Pentacles about. Yeah. Two of Wands. So cycling out of one situation and, you know, it's a whole new beginning basically here. Entering into another one. What else there? Yeah, Ten of Swords. Ouch, that did not end well. <laughs> that was a major lesson. Nothing to see there anymore. They were roadkill there, basically. Uh, what else, Scorpio? What else do you want to know? What else? What are they anxious about? Let's see. Four of Cups. Rejection. They're afraid of rejection. And they're afraid of taking a leap of faith. <laughs> oh boy, this person's anxious. What if, what if it doesn't work out? What if they overthink? judgment okay judgment they could be afraid of judgment as well what are other people going to say what else spirit seven of cups and justice yeah karmic justice they want to bring you karmic justice uh, um but yeah they were dealing with a karm karmic all right their hand is on a heart here they know this is justice also for whatever they went through. I mean, they are your justice empath. And you are theirs as well. Yeah. The sun. The sun with the king and queen of wands and lesson learned. You know what I'm getting is... Um, With the King and Queen of Wands and Lesson Learned with the Six of Swords. And then we have the Empress back here. I'm getting that you guys, maybe, you know, you're both very attractive. And you got into connections that were based on chemistry, passion. You both could have a very passionate um, energy. Like you're both very passionate is what I'm feeling here. And you got involved in connections that, you know, people saw you as, oh, okay, they're attractive, but it was all, like, surface level. And you both really learned a major lesson. You both could have went through an enlightenment. And, of course, I also see the King and Queen of Wands as, especially with the Sun, the Four of Wands here, and Temperance as a Twin Flame energy. And you both had to learn these lessons. The Empress, Six of Pentacles, yeah. You're all about equal giving and receiving. And that's what they want. And they know that the only way to get equal giving and receiving is with someone that has done the work and has become the empress, which you are. 
and with the high priestess here yeah highly intuitive and page of Pentacles I feel there will be a message here between you guys a happy message something you've been waiting on and we have the two of Pentacles which is entering into a cycle that leads towards happiness and abundance ten of cups with the three of cups that's a union but it all starts with a gesture here ten of cups beautiful and collaboration someone they can actually collaborate with oh yeah whoever they dealt with here Yeah, whoever they dealt with here, I feel they were very envious. We have the Knight of Swords again with the Death card, Temperance, you know, Four of Pentacles. It's like the Dark Twin, you know, somebody that tries to embody the Twin, but they live in their shadow. Five of Pentacles with the Emperor. We got the Emperor and the Empress. Yeah, this Emperor was in and out of their life. Looks to me like this person always had you in their sights, Scorpio. Yeah, and they know you're single. Uh, I keep hearing death becomes her. This person's wicked, for sure. Very aggressive. Low vibe. I mean, Ice Queen with the Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. Stingy, also with the Four of Pentacles likes to hold on to things a death grip with the four of pentacles and the death card this person is dead inside okay they have moments of, of spurts of passion and maybe some sort of emotion very narcissistic energy here Ugh. anyways we're not gonna waste our time talking about that all right, Scorpio, that's what I got for you guys. Things look good. It's just a matter of this person getting over the superstition. They know the truth, but they could have been like, yeah, right, that doesn't exist, blah, blah, blah. But it's undeniable if they keep, they're they intuitively feeling connected to you and being drawn to you. Spirit is guiding them. There's too many signs and synchronicities for this person to ignore and chuck it up to just superstition. All right, let's see what else we got here. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So there you go. So you can be with Ice Queen, Psycho here, or you could keep moving forward. Lesson learned. And because uh, somebody was cold as ice. I mean, that's roadkill right here. And you saw that here. That Queen of Swords is no joke. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. I'll be doing Sagittarius next. So if you have that in your chart or your Scorpio Sagittarius cusper, you're more than welcome to join me there. Or if you're dealing with someone with Sagittarius in their chart or that is a Sagittarius, let me know in the comments if anybody resonates. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. All right, Sagittarius, welcome back to Majestic Notion. Welcome to your two-week forecast for October 8th through the 21st. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. And of course, Sagittarius, as most of you already know, and I, I do have to repeat this over and over, these are general, not personal. There's more than one person watching and more than one person that will resonate with this reading. So, you may or may not resonate, as not every Sagittarius will be going through the scenario before us today. This is a two-week energy check-in for those who like these styles of reading, okay? These are a surprise to me as they are to you. And we're going to be getting into what surrounds you energetically, mind, body, soul, heart, or in your physical reality. Time is an illusion. Energy is fluid. So this could be present moment, future energy, past the two weeks, or within these next couple weeks and there could be some residual energy of the past. It is Mercury retrograde, so I would just naturally expect that to happen in any reading. doesn't mean that that's what's going to pop up, but it can happen. 
All right. So don't shoot the messenger, please. Now hit that smash button, that like button. Excuse me, hit that smash button. Smash that like button. <laughs> hit the notification bell for those of you who would like to know when my readings pop up, or your readings per se. And let's get into it, Sagittarius. 15 minutes or less, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. So we have the Death card, a time of natural transition and transformation. All right, so we're going through some changes. Yeah, summon number 13 once again. Heading on the Scorpionic energy here. So this could be taking place in November for some of you. And we have two. Beloved Radical Acceptance. Duality. Okay. I feel two people are accepting, or one specific person is finally accepting their path and or connection. Or both. Old soul. We have Libra energy here. Could just be justice. But we're going to see. You could have that in your chart somewhere, Sagittarius. We have the Nine of Cups. Oh, so something's leading towards wish fulfillment. I'm going to get into it. Let me just show you the cards. Four of Cups. All right. That's that divine cup of love with the Nine of Cups. Mm. why am I hearing that <laughs> something new coming on the market it could be a cocktail or maybe you like to create maybe you're feeling inspired you will have some inspiration to create a new line of something because it's, it's like you're putting it out there out of the blue and you're, or you're summoning you're, I don't know, that's specific for like one person. But you're also summoning like a connection here. The hangman. Alright. This is as we go through this metamorphosis stage, right? Transformation, seeing things from a higher perspective. Shedding of the old self. And old conditioning. Breaking to, through conscious patterns. Five of swords. Ouch. Queen of wands. There we go, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. I feel like that's you. Ten of Cups, yeah. Summoning a happy family. Abundance, also. Whatever you're working on will, will succeed, also. There's like a new product, product on the market that you will either love or you're selling. So projection, your life is a projection of the energy you are putting out. Well, with the Five of Swords, there's somebody here putting out uh, some jealousy, some hatred. And things aren't looking good. Oh, kicked out. Someone may be kicked out of their house. So I see, I smell a breakup here with somebody that is quite jealous of your beauty and you in general. So, yeah, I'm getting that somebody finally sees the connection for what it is, but they have to go through a transformation process. So they're accepting the situation. When whatever transpired with this Libra, Five of Swords energy, they're seeing things from a higher perspective, or they will. And uh, they know this is true love from what I see here. Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups, Four of Cups. They could be afraid of rejection. All right, They could have not wanted it before, because I'm seeing Radical Acceptance and the Four of Cups. But clearly, they're looking at it now. And it's because they were fogged by someone. Could have been friends, family. We do have fake friends here. Haters, gossip. Keep doing you. You're doing something right. This could, this could be a fear of theirs. That people are going to talk shit. I see it right here. Two people together. You know, and people pointing swords at them. This could be a fear. But they need to see things from a higher perspective. Clearly. And you keep me guessing, laughing, and intrigued. My eyes are on you. Transformation once again. We got magic here. Now, I don't know if it's the magic between you and them or if it's something else because we do have the sexual arts, number 33. Highly passionate, intuitive, and beautiful connection. Very healing and artistic. It's like novel romance type of connection. 
that's what I'm seeing here. So yes, for some of you that follow the Twin Flame, yes, you know, I, I don't get, I don't like to get hooked on the label itself, but Divine Connection, you know, Soulmate for some of you, yes. 14 adding up to 5, that could be significant. I do see Tantric Sex here with 33. You know, Kundalini rising with the 33 there, going through a major awakening. Um, main female, duality, and journey, 10, moving forward, taking the lessons, closing out a chapter, and keeping it moving. So some of you could have followed your intuition, went through a transformation, closed out a cycle here. You're headed towards wish fulfillment, right? You could be happy with your family right now. Um, you do keep someone guessing, laughing, and intrigued. Their eyes are on you. Something you're summoning, that's like the magician energy, you're manifesting someone here. But I see a Libra here that could be getting kicked out. A lot of jealousy here. We're going to figure out what that magic is about. Yeah, time with friends. Moving on. Happily single. Living in the moment and having fun. Yeah, and somebody's watching. we got the sunglasses. Lurking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. I just feel like somebody's watching you with you keep me guessing, laughing, and intrigued here. And yeah, there's hope and you have choices. If not, this person knows if they're kicking someone out of their life, because we do have a Libra here, or you are kicking someone out of your life, take it how it resonates, you have other choices and there is still hope for love. Because I see it here. Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, with your energy, Queen of Wands, and the Four of Cups. So you're going to have wish fulfillment. And it's a very passionate connection. That sexual arts card is kind of like the lovers to me. With 33, you're attracting each other. They're like two magnets. All right. Also a mirror image of your energy, which I love right now, or which you will be having with this transformation. So you're getting an upgrade here. You could be getting downloads through the month of October. And I just see magic between you and this person. But because we have a third person here, I do want to get into that. They could be hating. Because we have fake friends, haters, gossip. Keep doing you. You're doing something right. So someone's trying to, either you or this person, you know, do the right thing. If we weren't doing the right thing, we wouldn't have any haters or people talking shit. Then we would be doing something wrong, right? They are your biggest fans and your biggest motivations at the end of the day. So let's see here. See what spirit has. Give thanks for the blessings of love. Soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all the, all that your heart truly desires. Yes. And that is real love. I see it here. A real connection. Not some bullshit. Five of swords energy. One-upping one another. Cutting each other down. You know, whoever this was either for you or the other person coming into your life. Um, that's some bullshit right there. Who, who wants that? So, let's get into it. Tell me about this magic here. The tower. So, something blew up in somebody's face. Oh boy. <laughs> also, this could be love at first sight, but let's see. Jesus. It blew up before it could even take off. <laughs> yeah. Deception, Seven of Swords. Oh, Lord. This person's an amateur. Yeah. <laughs> they try to keep somebody bound. They, they, that shit backfired so hard. They try to get somebody get trapped. Seven of Swords to the Eight of Swords is entrapment. The cage, right? Somebody tried to maybe do a binding spell to to, um, to keep this person. That shit backfired. That shit ain't working. We kicked out in the tower. To what they try to do to keep them away from you backfired onto them. Projection, right? 
Your life is a projection of the energy you are putting out. So you try to put some binding energy. You just basically, they sent them your way. That was so stupid of this person. Yeah, they try to um, keep this person from you. Keep them stuck. Seven of so seven of wands with the Knight of Pentacles and the world. They wanted to keep them stuck. Yeah. <laughs> They've been watching you. Oh, Crocodile Tears, boy. Five of Cups, Knight of Cups with Justice. It's Libra again. Somebody's... <laughs> Crocodile tears. This person's, uh, yeah, this person's walking away. They gained the strength to eight of cups that ass, two of wands, and take another direction. Uh, this could be someone in your past, or they just feel that soul made connection with the six of cups. Now look at this, the world, right? Knight of pentacles with the seven of wands. This person tried to keep them stuck from you. Ten of cups. Ten of cups here, with next to you. They've been watching you, Page of Swords, doing research, however you want to look at that, looking at you on social media. King of Cups. Five of Cups with the Knight of Cups. Is this person trying to apologize and have crocodile tears with justice here? Libra, once again. Justice will be served for whatever she did here. And he had the strength to Eight of Cups that ass and move on towards either a past connection or just a soulmate connection that he feels towards you. There will be union here and a message, a happy message here with judgment. All right. Yeah. They're currently in hermit mode, thinking about that wish fulfillment and healing. Oh, this person, yeah. Enlightenment like a mother. Yeah, they will be hated for their gifts. This person is a star, a star being. They are, this is divine here. The sun, the hierophant, and the star. The star seed light worker could be a chosen one. Um, they're here to teach. They were brought here to spread their light. Enlightenment. Going through healing and enlightenment. And this is faith. And I also see the hierophant as a higher power, God. So they work for God or whoever you deem the higher power confirmation all right uh, what else for you Sagittarius what do we want to clarify here uh, let's see what's the stagnation here the strength okay so maybe that's what they need to uh, gain right now they're still feeling a little stuck but they are closing out the cycle they know what to do yeah, they have anxiety. Nine of Swords. Can't sleep. They know true love is coming. King of Cups once again. Could be a water sign. Doesn't have to be. This is talking about their emotional body. And they got feelings. They want to explore. With you. Wheel of Fortune. Destined to be so. Destiny is playing a role here. Could be a Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, or some. Yeah. They're stressing. They've been analyzing this these emotions. Okay, that's the cup that, that's coming out of nowhere. Where they thought there was no more hope, boom, there comes another one. It's like going to the bar and, and they're out of your favorite beer. And all of a sudden, oh, somebody comes through and finds it as if by magic. It has been summoned. Yep. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. There it is. Moving towards calmer waters. Not this five of swords bullshit. All right. With a lesson learned, six of swords. Queen of Wands, yep, going towards you. They find you very attractive. Spiritual, confident, ambitious, you know, in your power, in your strength. Two of Wands, Six of Wands, they do admire you, but they need to heal. Um, absolutely. All right, Sagittarius, that's what I have for you guys. Let me know in the comments if anybody resonates. Good things are coming. You do have choices, and they know there's hope. 
All right, so you are this person. No, there is hope. And either we're watching this person, they're watching you. So there you go. You're on a whole new journey, meeting a soulmate here. Oh, what's this? I didn't see this card. Oh, judgment. Boom. They were dealing with karma. This could be somebody from your past coming back around with judgment and the wheel of fortune. Maybe they feel like they missed an opportunity, but they feel that there is still hope for some. All right. But what I see is if something in the past didn't work out for you, um, you have someone else coming into your life. So that's for others. All right, guys. Um, let's just get a uh, see what this spell here was real quick. This should backfire. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's with the spell word? Ah, dream attacks. You are under the attack of spiritual entities that are trying to defeat you in the astral realm. So this bitch conjuring up shit. Oh, damn. Bottom of the deck. Spiritually transmitted disease. Be careful someone courting or dating you is dealing with a lot of energetic burdens and dark entities. Yeah, look at this. Oh. Let's get one more here. Uh, what did I just say? I can't make it up. Boom. Kaboom. Backfire. Dark energy sent your way will be turned back onto sender. A failed attempt. Man, I can't make it up. This shit blew up in her face like a motherfucker. <laughs> so, guess who's having dream attacks now? Yeah, they wanted to stop your progress on your way to success. So someone wanted to free spell this person, keep them stuck from coming towards you. <laughs> or keep you from coming towards them. Didn't we see that when I went through the deck? Knight of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands? Yeah, they wanted to keep them stuck. Freeze. From coming towards their Ten of Cups. This person knows that there's a higher connection here. And they were de jealous about, they wanted to win at all costs and keep this person stuck. Mentally manipulate also with the hangman and the five of swords. They know better now. Wow. <laughs> so they need to definitely give thanks for the connection that's transpiring between the both of you and coming together. Blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Thank God. Alright guys, that's what I have for you. Let me know in the comments if anybody resonates. I will be doing Capricorn next. So if you're a Sagittarius Capricorn Cusper, you're more than welcome to join me. Or if you have it in your chart or dealing with a Capricorn. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Alright, Capricorn. Welcome back to Majestic Notion. Welcome to your two-week forecast for October 8th through the 21st. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. And of course, Capricorn, as most of you already know. Of course, I have to repeat myself every time because I do get weird comments. This is not personal. It is general. So not every Capricorn will be going through this scenario before us today. If it doesn't resonate, it's not your story. Please do not make it fit or try to make it fit. Okay? These are 15 minutes or less. I do also... If you're on a life purpose journey and or you're trying to find that out, I would definitely look at your north or south node. Your north node for your life journey, your south node for more of what you need to heal, work on, your 3D life, okay? So, um, and remember that it can be interchangeable, but this is a reading for Capricorn, so I will be addressing the reading as if it's for Capricorn. But you can switch the energies as it resonates. Sometimes it resonates with the cross watcher because the cross watcher is doing most of the, you know, watching of tarot. So sometimes that happens. Um, and again, 
Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. So let's see what we got going on for you, Capricorn. This is surrounding whatever energy surrounds you at this time. Also, energetically, in your physical reality, but, you know, mind, body, soul, heart, next couple weeks. Again, energy is fluid, time is an illusion. So it could be playing out right now or in the next couple weeks or beyond that. And you could still have residual energy from the past. It is Mercury retrograde, so I, I would naturally just expect that to happen. All right. And please don't shoot the messenger. All right. So here we go. Phoenix. Be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. And you can't have a Phoenix rising, as I like to say, without pain. So I know that you've been going through the mill. This is hard. But once you rise up and you burn the old you, it's all good after that. You'll be able to use your discernment, see through the bullshit. You'll be stronger. Your vibration will be higher. Purified. Okay? Your conscious or, or your, um, your perception, your breaking through, you know, condition patterns it is going to be that much more clear. So focus, number 17, adding up to 8. Could be someone you're focused on or someone is focused on you. Or it's just focus on your path, your vision. 30, we have horseman, herald of change. Yeah. Big changes here after a phoenix rising, absolutely. So stay focused. We have Aries. You can have this in your chart, or there's somebody around you that is an Aries. Intuitive. All right. The moon. So we're following our intuition is what it seems like. We're focused on someone, and we are going through major change. Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups. Two of Swords, I just heard this could have been someone that either you or someone else was iffy about. There are some emotions here being blocked. Or you're blocking someone in specific. Or someone has been blocking you for some time but they're ready to talk with the Ace of Swords here. Or they're ready to make a decision. So let's see, Two of Pentacles, they could be cutting ties with someone here. There's a lot going on beneath the surface. Muse, alright, you are inspirational to someone. The Queen of Cups is very intuitive, so that could be the person somebody here is, um, is or um, somebody could be looking at you in this way. And yeah. Something has come to an end. Dead. Yeah, somebody's cutting out a cycle. They made a decision to either block or cut something out or both. Yeah, lesson learned. Better things to come. All right, so we're cutting somebody out, and there's that Mercury retrograde, a blast from the past energy. Yeah, with the moon here and the Knight of Cups, somebody's coming out of the blue. You thought you buried this person already. <laughs> Okay, Capricorn, someone is coming out of the blue. Hmm. Diligence, someone is doing their due diligence, and I feel like that's um, learning or, or, or preparing for something secretly. Yeah, propel forward, that's like the chariot here. So I feel like when Mercury goes direct here, something is happening. There's a whole lot of shaking. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Courage, number 30 once again. So 30 is very significant here. Ten, pay attention to the signs. There you go. Yeah, focus, pay attention to the signs and keep moving forward.
Poverty with 37. Again, 10. Distant horizon, 36 could be significant. That adds up to 9. 369 is the vortex. Things coming. Your ship's coming in. Something you manifested or you're waiting on. I feel like your intuition is telling you that someone is focused on you or coming towards you at some point. It's a matter of decision and learning some type of lesson here. Okay. Um, but there is something from the past, someone you blocked that wants to come forward here and apologize. I feel there's several energies here. Yeah. So we have kisses, unconditional love, giving and receiving affection, and falling in love. Yeah, there will be someone significant here, but there's also a snake here. Competitive, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder. The other woman or the other man, all right? Yeah, there's somebody trying to, like, sneak back up. There will be clarity coming with the moon and the ace of swords, or you already know. Yeah, I'm hearing roadblock. Someone's trying to create a roadblock here. Do not listen to me while you're driving. Pay attention to the road. That's for somebody. I'm feeling something weird here. Give me a second. Oh, I don't like what I'm feeling. Okay. Yeah, somebody's coming back. Please forgive me. I wish we were together. Okay. I, I just feel like there's several energies here, Capricorn. There's somebody from your past trying to come back. So I knew Mercury retrograde here. Somebody from your past. Somebody, it's like you're dead to me. Like you've moved on from this person already. Somebody you had emotions for, but you cut this person out. It was a cycle. It was a lesson learned. You did your homework. You understood the situation, even if not everything was clear you have clarity with the ace of swords you had the courage to move forward here somebody has a poverty mindset they could still be focused on you or this could be someone in your life here with the aries energy but you are an inspiration to someone here and you could be an inspiration to this person maybe they secretly watch you I just feel like there's hidden emotions that they never shared with you. Yeah, because with this diligence, I feel like somebody watches you online or something. It's like they know something. That's why they're coming back. They know how they feel for you, but they are a snake. Apology with the Knight of Cups with Please Forgive Me. So I feel like that's why Spirit is saying, pay attention to the signs. You didn't go for through a phoenix rising or are going through a phoenix rising to end up back in the snake's hands. And this person's still in that energy with poverty and the snake card. I want to reveal what's under this moon energy. Look, we have a snake here. Okay. What does a snake do before it devours its prey? It tightens the grip. And, yeah, I don't like that. It says power. So somebody's trying to overpower you. You instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. So if some of you are currently dealing with someone that is trying to keep you stuck, rest restrict you somehow some way from moving forward, 
you're going to be cutting that person out. And Spirit is saying definitely pay attention to the signs because you're going through a phoenix rising and there will be a lot of change here moving forward. Fast movement forward is what I'm feeling. And that either you or this person is going through that. Somebody's focused on someone new here. And they need the courage to get out of this. They're dealing with somebody that's low vibe, poverty mindset. Maybe they don't have much codependent energy, taker energy. You know, don't like that. So let's see what's under the moon here. So this is current energy because we are in Mercury retrograde. And uh, this could be over right when Mercury goes forward again with Propel and Mercury Retrograde that person will be cut out or you will cut out someone from your past completely around that time if they come back again alright tell me about the moon for Capricorn we'll be dealing with a Pisces Scorpio Cancer as well Four of Pentacles Somebody's needing to let something go. Hold on one second. I dropped something. I dropped the card. was the lovers with the four of pentacles there's definitely a connection uh, coming in but somebody's holding back here and maybe that's the person that wishes you guys were together or the person that you were with in the past for others of you you felt a very deep connection towards but it could have been from the shadow with the moon here you got three of swords and Page of Pentacles. Again, that's like that poverty card to me. Somebody here does not have much. They hold on to what they have with the four Pentacles. So this is somebody that broke your heart. Yeah, you walked away from that. You weren't being emotionally fulfilled. So the connection though was heavy it was strong but it was based from a shadow energy this person lives in their shadow they're a snake so when you have an intense connection it's no wonder it doesn't come together because someone was in a low vibration they work from their shadow so they this would be someone on an ego trip pride deceptive with a lot of childhood traumas that are unhealed toxic family lifestyle conditioning religious beliefs you know anything that keeps them kind of stuck mentally you know they have a, a specific way of going about thing a specific thought process that doesn't allow them to blossom or flourish or have a more open mind so when a con when a connection like the lovers is felt on a mind body soul level it challenges everything that this person ever thought about love especially when they're so used to living in their shadow and they've never met this type of person before they will question it all and they will deny it all and clearly they know the truth here so I see here but you can't you can't stay with somebody in their shadow just because the connection was intense you know and that to me that's a major lesson yeah king of swords in this situation with the snake and the king of swords this is somebody that tried to remain logical okay this could be king of swords in reverse because they are a snake so this is not somebody in a high vibration at all 
Yeah, Two of Pentacles. It was a cycle in your life that you had to uh, walk away from. It was a lesson, like it says right here. Those are the most intense lessons. And there was a mirroring effect here as well. But it was shattered because it wasn't reciprocated in a physical sense. Mind, body, soul, it, the, the connection was there. It was underlying, but it wasn't being reciprocated on a level of integrity, a, a level of understanding, a level of acceptance. Ego took precedence over the connection. And their conditioning took precedence over the con connection. You could have been someone that they would have never looked at before. You know, maybe you weren't their usual type, but the connection was felt more than their usual type because it wasn't based on, you know, um, superficiality, materialism, or their belief system. It was different. It hit different for sure. And it hit very deep for this person. But they chose to lovers once again they chose to go a different route and they will forever think about this that's why they want to come back around yeah wheel of fortune they want to come back around it was destined for you to meet this person and to heal and you are manifesting something here yeah you have other options you're a magician so you can manifest your clear intentions you're going through a phoenix rising for a reason because there is a higher connection for you it is the Emperor, Queen of Pentacles here with the Seven of Cups. You have options. And they could be dealing, yeah, there's, the, the, this person could be dealing with a little devil of their own. We're not going to get into all of that. That's why I see somebody else focused on you. I see somebody here coming into your life. Their energy is a little hidden. We're going to leave it there, okay? Um... There is change, major change in love, and what we saw love as in the past. Um, and of course, this person will never leave your energy because they don't understand what you now understand after a phoenix rising. They're still in their shadow. They're still a snake. You are rising above it because you understand it. And you understand yourself better now and what love is about a little more. And you are changing your vibration, leveling up, and you're attracting someone that is better suited for you. But this person will never forget this connection. It's like a mind fuck for them. It's like, why do I feel this way? That you put some this is the kind of person I would think you put a spell on them. You know, it can't be love. It must be a spell. You know, that's their mentality. This can't be love. Yet they're sitting here dreaming about you thinking about you and feeling you on the most deep level but acting like it's unrequited when it's not all right that's their demise you are going to move on just fine from what i see all right guys let me know in the comments if anybody resonates and i'll be doing aquarius next so if you have that in your chart or you're a Capricorn Aquarius Cusper, you're more than like you're more than welcome to join me there. If not, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. Aquarius, welcome back to Majestic Notion. Welcome to your two-week forecast for October 8th through the 21st. All right, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. These are 15 minutes or less. And of course, Aquarius, remember these are general, not personal. So not every Aquarius will be going through this scenario before us. Flip the energies as it resonates. It could resonate with the cross watcher. Okay, more than the sign itself for some. Remember, we have more than one person watching. So it's going to resonate different for everybody. Um, yeah, 15 minutes or less. And um, what was I going to say here? Oh, well. If I remember, I'll say it through the reading. Uh, we're going to be focusing on what's going on, obviously, the next couple weeks. But remember that time is an illusion and energy is fluid. So you could have a little residual energy of the past for some, you know. We may or may not see that here today. 
um, but I have been seeing it on some readings, not all, but more present energy, future energy, but it could be past, present, or future, or all three. Remember that. Okay, guys? and again, it will resonate different for everybody. So you could be like, oh, I left that connection seven years ago. For somebody, they're currently going through this. So remember that. Remember. Okay. And let's begin. All right. So we have Cracker. Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune awaits. Nice. All right. Positive energy. That's great. Fragment. All right. So something's not all clear. Number 15 adding up to 6. So there could be a lesson at hand here for some of you. Again, take the energies how it resonates. Um, it is an Aquarius reading, so I will be addressing Aquarius here today. So there could be something not quite clear with fragment. All the puzzle pieces are not quite into place. And with number six here, you know, 15 adding up to six, there is a lesson being learned currently. But positive energy does surround you. And love, joy, and good fortune awaits. So meaning there's still something being learned or, or something coming into clarity before you move ahead towards something um, more positive. So there's a lot of change here. There's a process going on here. So jeweled web and connectivity, 32, adding up to 5. Again, that's change. 32 could be significant for someone here. Uh, it could be a date or an age. Take it how it resonates. We have mystic. So someone is a mystic here. Someone that is spiritual and dives deep. Connectivity with jeweled web. So we are all connected, but you're, I feel like you're connecting to someone specifically. We have Gemini. And we have justice here, Libra energy. Page of Swords. You know, somebody could be watching you through the web. We have the Nine of Wands here. Queen of Wands. Aries Leo Sag. Okay, I see a lot of blocking. Blocking people out from the web. Maybe somebody's confused by why you block them. Page of Wands here. Three of Wands. Codependency. A connection, a codependent relationship is present. Life purpose, finding your life purpose. So some of you have Aquarius in your north node. Um, or you need to check out your north node. Uh, okay, spirit is guiding you towards your abundance. Yeah, that's what that's this right here. Good fortune awaits. But there's something that needs to come into focus or clarity here. I miss the light you brought into my life. All that I am left with is darkness. So that's the person watching you. Somebody could be very mature here with the Page of Wands. I feel like with the Queen of Wands, you blocked that person with the Nine of Wands. Somebody hurt you bad. You're not trying to go there again. Maybe you had to heal some type of codependent energy, whether emotional or financial here. Um, but, but I feel like this person is sitting in codependency, missing your light. So... They see you are very spiritual. This could be a Gemini. Or you have Gemini in your chart. Strength. Inconspicuous. Again, something not quite clear. Something isn't clear. Pride. Number seven. We have faith here with duality. Number 22, also, Gemini is about duality as well. So this could be an aspect in your chart for some. Eighteen, 
child. Could be a child involved here, or this is somebody again being childish. Um, someone could be 18 or 9 here. 21. Family room. Healthy choices. Making healthy choices in love and life, self love, self care, and being happier. Yeah, I feel like, um, and we'll get into the energy, but I feel like you blocking people that don't serve you has put you in a better place of happiness and working on your self worth. Your, you know, the Queen of Wands is ambitious, they love themselves, male or female. Um, they're intuitive, they go after what they want. You know, they get shit done. Yeah, there was a breakup here. Separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. Okay, so somebody could have abandonment issues. They feel like you left the building, you abandoned them. But, you know, it could have been because that was a pattern, that something you had to learn from. And, uh, again, they could have had some traumas, didn't treat you right. Yeah, not now. So... We have not now, and we are meant for each other. So somebody's going through something, but they feel you're meant to be. I'm trying to figure out if there's more than two people here, Aquarius, because you're being guided towards your abundance. I feel you are at a distance from whoever you were dealing with. I do feel like someone is watching you. You're feeling connected to something here. There is change happening here. There's a spiritual person here. There's pride. The spirit is saying have faith. This is kind of messy. Let's see what spirit is saying here. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another now is the time to give to yourself yeah I'm seeing somebody's focus on you and they need to really focus on whatever is transpiring if you didn't go through a breakup here somebody is going through some type of breakup there are children and family involved in this is what I'm seeing and something obviously was unjust with justice being here but there is like a lack of clarity for someone here that is going through a breakup. They were definitely in a codependent situation. And, um, you know, this person could still be hanging on with, I missed the light you brought into my life, if it's not you. You know, with right now, there's chaos happening. Things are falling apart because there's major change here. But major, I feel like things are being revealed, coming to light, and it's very uncomfortable. The situation is is dire is what I'm hearing somebody could be going through an ego death but they know you guys are meant to be with we are meant for each other so I, I just feel like you're making healthier choices you're kind of just loving yourself your energy is blocked off from this and I feel you're focused on your life purpose I see you moving forward here and you're being guided towards your abundance and I see with the strength here it's like you're in your strength you're following your path because these are in no, no particular order you're following your life purpose blocking what doesn't serve you okay um, but there's something going on in the background here with family And if it's not your breakup, somebody's going through a breakup with someone before they come into your life, maybe, perhaps. Unless you're having issues with some type of family member here. So let's let's get into this, Aquarius. This is kind of scattered. 
there's a lot going on here. I, I don't feel your energy scattered. I feel you know exactly what you're doing and where you're going. Justice will prevail here. And Spirit is saying positive energy surrounds you. Love and joy. Love, joy, and good fortune awaits. Right? Because you're being guided towards your abundance. And I feel like you're being creative also with the Page of Wands and the Strength card. And with the Three of Wands, you're at a distance from all of this. That's what I'm getting there. So, Magician at the bottom of the deck, you're manifesting something. You're learning how to be an alchemist here is what I'm seeing. And mastering thyself. That's what I see here. Yeah, you're getting rest. You're healing. And we have the Ten of Pentacles here. So you could be building your own business. Make sure to take some rest. We have the Fool with the Page of Cups. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's clear up some of this energy. First, I'm going to see where you're at with the Queen of Wands. Because I feel like you're not dealing with this. This is happening behind the scenes. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. The Devil. Okay, so this is uh, not good. Okay, what is going on here? Tell me about the Devil. Yeah, just like this reading, all this scattered. Yeah, that's what was coming out before. Oh, boy. So we have the King of Wands, Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, and Ten of Swords. With the Devil. Somebody hell's, is hell-bent on... I don't know. They, they just really... they. That's why the Nine of Wands is here. This is somebody you're not dealing with. I mean, look at this. Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords. Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords is falling into someone's trap and getting hurt here. So, I know with the devil here, you ain't going back to that. But with the devil here, it, there there's a, a level in the King and Queen of Wands. There is some serious passion and chemistry there. But it all it's all swords here. So this this was rough. So this Gemini could literally be someone's uh, family member, brother. I don't know what that. They're very childish. What is going on here, Aquarius? So we know you're not dealing with this person. That was a breakup, a split. You're making healthier choices, right? You're no longer involved with this person. But they missed the light you brought into their life. You're at a distance. They see you as confident. Following your purpose. But I feel like they're trying to bring you confusion. Let's see. What is this inconspicuous? They're bringing me confusion. I can tell you what. So something's not clear about the connection here. Two of Cups. So they felt the connection, but it's like... Tell me about the Two of Cups. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. It's like, was this destiny? Was that my soulmate? Because they miss you. And it's almost like they don't understand why they still miss you. I feel like you haven't seen this person in some time. And they're trying to figure this out. It's not clear to them. Whoa. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, you're at a distance. Three of Wands. You create a distance between this person. You and this person. Six of Swords. You learned a lesson. And you moved on. Some of you physically moved. Tell me about this Gemini. What is this Gemini? Two of Wands in the Sun. So, whoever this Gemini is, I almost feel like they're happy you guys split ways. It's a family member. What is this? Yeah. There's the lovers. Oh, boy. 
or hold on. Yeah, you made this person happy, but they could have probably not told you something. I'm feeling this person was probably materialistic. King of Cups, uh, King of Pentacles with the uh, Five of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups here, so they did feel something. But it's almost like. I almost feel like you're headed towards something else with the lovers and the sun and the two of wands. So let's see what this is. Because it says have faith. Yeah, queen of pentacles. Yeah, you're focused on... I just feel like you're focused on something. And the emperor. Yeah, you're you're headed towards an emperor here with the sun and the lovers. Tell me about about this. Three of swords. Was this person married? I feel like they could have been. Wow. Okay. <laughs> the five of swords. The Seven of Cups, the Three of Cups, and Judgment. Yeah, I'm seeing like there was, there was somebody else that they were, they had a family with someone else here, and they have children. That's what I'm seeing. This is why this is confusing. There were other people involved here. Um, this person had responsibilities elsewhere, but that's that's why you didn't get any emotion you got all of the um, bad cards ten of swords it was passion indeed ten of swords eight of swords and seven of swords and deception so it's it's almost like the connection was deceiving because there was so much chemistry and passion but also this person didn't exactly come at you the right way they had someone else in their life and they don't, you know, they like to appear a certain way with the Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles here. Like, they like to appear like they got it all together and work hard with the King of Pentacles and the Emperor. But really, there's a Five of Pentacles here. And with the Five of Swords, there was some, there was some jealousy. There was a lot going on here between you two. We have the Empress at the bottom. With the Ace of Wands and the world. You're going to have a new beginning. That's over. We have the tower and the star here. <sighs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> Spirit really brought in your past, didn't they? Mercury, retrograde energy. They still think about you, but they're... I feel like this person was a player. He likes to create drama wherever he goes. There's Seven of Cups, Five of Swords. There's codependency here, but there's a, a sense of appearing to be happy, but there is no happiness here. I don't, I don't see that. I see a lot of superficiality. That's what I'm seeing here. Because obviously somebody's going through a, a breakup and some chaos, but they bring it on to themselves because uh, they're. I just feel like this person. It's all about appearances, and then they go do bad things. They're deceptive, obviously, here. So you could have seen this person in a good light, and then, you know, you saw them for who they really were. My goodness, they, they had me confused, so I know they had you confused. All right, so... And they're still thinking about this connection. They felt a connection here. But it's not fully clear. And they missed the light you brought into their life. So it's almost like you couldn't have a... Re you, you didn't have a relationship because they were already in one. But they feel you guys are meant to be with we are meant for each other. So what is your justice with this page of swords? Because I feel like somebody else is watching. 
the magician with the seven of wands okay I feel like spirit blocked this manifestation two of swords yeah and you blocked this this connection was blocked yeah no the devil no more you're happier now four of wands you're looking for stability of course there was no stability there it's been blocked and there will be justice for what you went through that's why justice is here my goodness Aquarius Woo. let's see what else we got you're heading towards abundance Oh, did we do this already? It is important right now to take a step back, spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. Yeah. And that's what I see you giving time to yourself. So I want to see where spirit is taking you. Obviously towards your ten of cups. But let's see what's popping up here. Yeah, eight of pentacles, page of pentacles. So definitely a new opportunity in career and business as well. And that could be exactly what you're focused on. Yeah, collaborating with others. The tower. It might come as a shock. Let's see. Or you might be leaving a specific business behind. Yeah. Five of Pentacles. Maybe there's something you are working on that is not uh, reaping rewards. So Spirit is guiding you towards something else. Five of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. You're definitely working on whatever was destroyed here as well. With the Tower and the Five of Pentacles. What else, Spirit? Ace of Cups. You could be working on self-love also. Self-worth. Missed opportunity. Yeah, the sun with the queen of wands in hermit mode. You're happier now. Three of cups. Judgment. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, you're happy. You're making healthier choices. You're working on you, what you do best. And you, you have the ambition to work on whatever you need to work on and the strength. That's what I'm seeing here. You're focused on your life purpose and spirit is guiding you and you're taking heed and following their guidance. So it doesn't really matter what this person is going through. I mean, after the, all those swords that I saw there, you know, I don't care if they still thinking about this connection. It's, it's being blocked. So... Spirit doesn't want you to go there anywhere. Okay, so keep your blinders on, keep it moving, and forget about the past here. I don't know why it keeps popping up, but it's because they're hanging on to your energy. They're still wondering what this connection was about. But that person has a lot going on. <laughs> too many, too many, uh, what, how do you say it? Too many, um, God, what is that saying? too many chiefs something like that and not enough I don't know what anyway I'll be doing Pisces next the very last sign so if you're an Aquarius Pisces cusper you're more than welcome to join me or if you're dealing with a Pisces you're more than welcome to join me there so I will see you there please let me know in the comments if anybody resonates with that mess okay it took me some time because this person is messy their mind is everywhere and they had my mind everywhere and there's obviously a lot going on in their family and in their life. But your your energy is very clear. But anyway, I will talk to you guys later and I wish you the best. Bye-bye. Pisces, welcome back to Majestic Notion. Welcome to your two-week zodiac forecast for October 8th through the 21st. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. I also... Oftentimes recommend you watch your north node if for those of you who uh, you know are heading towards your life purpose and your south node for those of you who need to know what to heal or it's, you're more of a three-dimensional 
space um, energy there. And of course, Pisces, as you know, these are general, not personal. So not every Pisces will be going through this scenario before us. Remember that there is more than one person just watching. So if you don't resonate, don't make it fit. It will resonate for someone else. And of course, energies could be vice versa, as we do have cross watchers that watch for Pisces. But because this is a Pisces reading, I will be reading the energies as they come through. You flip them as it resonates for you because it's going to resonate differently for everybody okay some of it may resonate all of it may resonate or none of it may resonate remember that I do not do personal readings if it doesn't resonate watch another um, area in your chart all right another sign somewhere in your placement there and these are 15 minutes or less Pisces so let's get to it um, please hit that like button subscribe to the channel and share 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 hit the notification bell for those of you who want to know when your two-week readings come up let's get to it Pisces oh the devil what a right away like what's going on take care immediately to avoid temptation and deceit oh no the devil's in the details and they're looking at you success congratulations number 39 heading up to 12 so you must have successfully closed out a cycle here or something in your life requires a congratulations for a job well done some of you beat the devil and you're leveling up all right that's what I'm seeing there as well all right let's see overflow overwhelm and plenty so you will have plenty. Your cup runneth over. 43. Adding up to 7. A spirit blessing you here. Yeah, there are levels to this. Mm -hmm. We have lover. Yep, shadow king. So we were sleeping with the devil. Oh no. But somebody overcame this with success here so let's see two of wands yeah the crossroads yeah queen of pentacles eight of pentacles what is gripping that eight, that money bag okay the Wheel of Fortune. Ah. <coughs> Excuse me. Nine of Cups. King of Cups. Christmas. Something significant about this holiday. Seeing through the fog, your visions is getting clearer. I never believed in soulmates till I met you. You threw me for a loop. It doesn't matter what I do. I feel like I'll never break free from you. Frustrated. Can't sleep. Not sure what to do. Oh boy. What are we doing here? We have obedience though. Somebody's fighting these urges for this. They're, they're fighting the devil. Okay, somebody here you know Pisces I am doing a Pisces reading but take it how it resonates somebody here has a lot of intensity a lot of passion for someone but it, it stems from their shadow okay and they're they're fighting their demons right now okay like it says here it doesn't matter what I do I feel like I can't break free from you frustrated can't sleep not sure what to do something obviously is either happening in Christmas or it happened last Christmas where somebody started seeing through the fog maybe started to see their own behavior a, a certain pattern here or someone for who they were or what what this person brings out in them alright so we have obedience and preparation so we're gonna get into what this is all about here 
say what you mean exactly number 18 it's almost like they want to break free but they they're addicted to the sex here 18 adding up to 9 there's a cycle that needs to be closed but with congratulations and success um, you know this could be something you have been fighting through or the person you're watching for take it out resonates you know what whatever the devil puts together I mean it's it's something you do in excess right whether it's indulging in food or alcohol or drugs it makes you feel good at the same time but you know that it's bad for you and there's a bad outcome at the end of the day it never leads to joy and laughter it always starts with joy and laughter and um, a sense of satisfaction but it ends in a mess and um, and I know that this person knows this but they can't break free it's like they're, they're like it says there I don't know if I'll never break free they're trying to be obedient as fuck so let's see self-sabotage exactly the epitome of self-sabotage here is listening to your you're the devil within right that keeps you bound to a situation therefore sabotaging anything good that comes your way somebody's feeding their addictions whatever that may be and I see it's sex with a false person male or female I knew it I see it here Queen of Pentacles holding on to this bag this person is just here for the money and this person because they're here for the money they give them great sex and they're addicted to the sex so this is almost like paying for it in a sense they get a, a, a toxic satisfaction from it and so does this person because they get the money this is sick yeah great fortune 26 could be significant here but it adds up to eight 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 very significant spirit is trying to guide this person but this person that they're dealing with you are this person Pisces okay it, it's keeping somebody stuck and the two of wands is here they're sitting at the crossroads they know they need to be obedient and leave this behind there is wish fulfillment here somewhere but the sex keeps drawing them in the devil does not want to let this person go they need to say what they mean which is king of cups nine of cups but they're self-sabotaging right now yeah they're in a, this person chases exactly they're in a codependent connection chase co in codependent relationship fear of abandonment issues I just heard clout I don't even know what chasing clout clout I don't know what that is <laughs> yeah someone expresses love a message of love thinking of you and letting you know so either this king of cups nine of cups is expressing love yet again to this person or there's someone else they want to go towards but they feel like this person is always like pulling them in yeah I'm bored and I want you see so they're bored because they're not having sex and they have this person that chases and satisfies them sexually so there you go they're bored so now they're gonna make the mistake and sleep with this person again <laughs> this is just sick it's fucking ridiculous yeah I'm hearing that song there's a fire in my soul transformation your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things we are at the crossroads so I want to know what else is on the other side when we finally let go of the devil that keeps chasing us and binding us sexually and then when you're sitting there and you're not being sexually satisfied you're bored so you get back into this person's bed now you it doesn't have to be you it could be the person you're watching for somebody here 
keeps going back to the same old, same old. Now, with congratulations and success, I hope that this is something they're going to overcome. I do see obedience here. But this could have been the pattern that they were in. But right now, they're sitting in boredom. And they're really thinking about the sex. You got to surpass that sexual urge for the wrong people. False person. Say what you mean. All right. I have to explain the message, how it's coming to me. So this might not be your energy, Pisces, but it is for someone. Okay. Hey, we all embody light and dark energies. So it's a mistake that someone is keeps repeating. But hey, if they're making a love call, it's because they want sex. They want some sort of wish fulfillment here. If it's to this person. So let's see. Oh Lord, these, these readings are hard. When I see people retracting, it's just so annoying. Hermit mode. Yeah, this person's bored in hermit mode. And all they could do is think about this sex. There's somebody else they want. Um, let's get into this two of wands. What is this crossroads? Ace of wands. Somebody's stuck between following their penis or their vag and their heart. There is a new beginning here. Queen of Wands, there it is. <laughs> oh, Lord. King of Pentacles with the Two of Wands. <laughs> you got to be kidding me, man. Queen, King of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person... Obviously, they're extremely attracted. This is like a she-devil. They're extremely attracted to this person. This person turns them on, but they're so bad for them. They're materialistic, and they're a gold digger. I can see that here. What else? What's on the other side of this? Four of Wands. They could be in a relationship here, or you. Or they know there needs to be more stability here. Yeah, they know they need to walk away. Eight of Cups. They're not emotionally fulfilled. They're sexually fulfilled. Justice and the Devil. Justice and the Devil. This person could have slept with someone else with the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Justice wouldn't be here for no reason. They could be dealing with a Libra. Let's see what else. Yeah, they're dealing with a Libra. Justice and the, and the Queen of Swords. Could be Gemini or Aquarius or Capricorn. What else? The moon. This person this is ridiculous. It's just tell me about the King of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Ace of Sword. They know the truth, but they're protecting their heart. Ace of Swords. Seven of Wands. They know the truth about something. And it has to do with their feelings, but they're protecting. They know they need to walk away, is what I'm feeling. Nine of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Temperance. 
Knight of Cups. This person knows they need to walk away. I feel like this person keeps coming back to apologize. Page of Swords. Who are they watching? They must be watching you, Pisces. And you're single. Ten of Swords. Yeah, I don't know what this... There, There's something hidden here that this Queen of Swords did. And she's coming back to apologize. Because it really hurt him. Or her, whoever this Shadow King is. I feel like it's a him, I'm not going to lie. But this person still misses them sexually. It's like they can't get away, no matter the fucking pain that this person puts them through. What's hidden with the moon and this Queen of Swords? The tower. They know shit's falling apart. Shit's coming down. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. Knight of Swords and the Two of Wands. They're mad because they want to go another way. Two of Wands came out three times. This person wants a new direction. But this person keeps reeling them in sexually. And they need to say what they mean. Yeah. They want to go. Take a leap of faith. Start a new chapter in their life. But they're sitting here bored. Sexually deprived. They need to get that sexual shit under control. This is ridiculous. They need to heal that. Okay, tell me about I've never believed in soulmates till I met you. Who are they talking about? Yeah, there's the star. And that's what gets them anxiety. So they feel a connection towards you that they feel is faded and it brings anxiety. Okay, tell me more. I really feel like this is not your energy, Pisces, but hey, it could be. Five of Swords. Five of Pentacles. I, I see this person needs to heal something about themselves. They could have a jealous streak. They could feel like they're not good enough with the Five of Pentacles. Um, but I see obedience here. Let's see, what else here? They're just not confident. Yeah, I see Two of Cups with the fucking sun. That's what they see. There's the soulmate. I never believed in soulmates till I met you. The sun. But they feel like, I don't know, like they're not worthy. They're in their shadow. Ah, uh, the Empress. They don't feel like they match your, your, who you are. They know this is faded. You guys are star-crossed lovers with the two cups and the star. This is a very healing connection. And we've got the sun here. Um, but the person they're with could be the ones jealous. But I'm feeling like this person needs to heal something here. I don't know. They feel like they don't deserve you or something. The Wheel of Fortune is here. What are they working on? Because I know they're working on leaving the cycle behind. Ace of Cups. Okay, so love is trying to come in here. They need to work on self-love. So they need to go through a cycle of self-love, self-worth, healing. Yeah, exactly. They need to become that emperor. So they need to go through a cycle of healing and self-worth. Yeah, they're meant to teach as well and learn something. They could be conservative, have certain aspects. Five of Cups with the Two of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune once again. This is a cycle. It's very sad. The Five of Cups, 
but they need to move on. What, what are they seeing here through the fog? Yeah, they're seeing some deception here. Clearly, we're dealing with a false person. And it's taken them some patience. This is about balance also. Something is off balance. They know it. Something don't feel right. They intuit it. King of Cups. Self-sabotage, once again, also. Three of Cups. Yeah. Some kind of gathering here. They saw something. But they self-sabotage. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. They want to invest in someone they like and feel a very heavy connection with the lovers. That's you, Pisces. But they need to heal before they invest in this. That came out of the blue for them. With the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Cups here. And the Four of Wands. Excuse me, Five of Wands. Yeah, they need to learn this lesson. I don't know, Pisces, man. This is frustrating. But that's what I have. They keep getting lured in by this person. Sexually. It's a sexual connection. With the devil, they feel bound to it. And when they're not around this person, it's like they're not having sex. So it's like they want to be bad and go after what they, they just want their, their quick fix. So they need to heal that side of them. Obviously, they need, they're they going in through into a cycle of self-worth. They're working on it with the Eight of Pentacles. But they keep retracting and self-sabotaging. And they need to say what they mean. Right now, they're not doing that. Success is here. But they're going to have to overcome this person. And they keep chasing them. This person keeps chasing them. <sighs> Preparation. Preparation. But they see you in a very high light. I see that. And they just don't feel... They don't, they're not the emperor quite yet. They still need to heal. So, all right, Pisces, that's what I have for you guys. Let me know if it resonates, and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.